There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Everything Wedding. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. As usual, we're super excited to have you guys on the channel kindly subscribe if you're not yet subscribed do not forget to give the video a thumbs up as that helps to grow the channel also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown for this particular video is your favorite and also do not forget to share these videos with your loved ones because you never know who might need it so in today's video as we get to enjoy these turning gowns we're also going to be continuing from our previous video where we were discussing about the 50 mistakes that most brides always make we had discussed a few so if you haven't watched that video kindly go back and watch it so that you are kept up to date with us so today we're going to continue with some of the mistakes that a lot of brides do make and we're going to be sharing them with you guys another mistake that a lot of brides do make is that they fall victim to crash dieting no bride should feel as if they have to change themselves ahead of their wedding but if you do wish to adopt better habits instead of drastically reducing calories or abstaining from whole food groups a month before your wedding date is into it try adopting a well-balanced eating plan or fitness regimen six months before the big day you also need to focus on gaining confidence stress living re stress li relieving practices and good habits that uh, will follow you way past your walk down the aisle if your ceremony and reception are at different venues do your best to minimize the in-between time which may leave guests with nothing to do if a large time gap is inevitable make sure they have the options of being entertained by planning an outing or setting up an hospitality lounge with drinks and snacks at the hotel where they will be staying A lot of brides also feel obligated that they need to rock an updo. You have never worn an updo a day in your life. You don't have to start it on your wedding day. Wear your hair in whatever style makes you feel prettiest. Whether it's an updo, an intricate, a fishtail braid you have found on Pinterest or just simple waves. When in a public restroom, always resist the temptation to remove your engagement ring while you're washing your hands. The possibility that you might leave it on the ledge of the sink or worse, drop it down the drain is too great risk to take. So a lot of brides usually misplace their engagement rings. Another mistake that a lot of brides do is that you skimp on bridal party gifts. It's important to thank your attendants with a tangible gift to show your appreciation. Sit down with your fiancé and consider what you've been asking financially of your wedding party. Many spend upward of a thousand dollars on flights, attire and hotels. You are certainly not required to match what they have spent. But the amount should convey a sincere gratitude for how much time, effort, and money they have put into your wedding. And as a rule of thumb, some something between $75 and $150 should do surface. A lot of brides do not feed their vendors. The last thing you want on your wedding day is a low energy DJ or an exhausted photographer. So plan on feeding any hired hands who will be working during the reception. This include your wedding planner, your photographer, your videographer, and DJ or band plus their assistants, but not your florist or the ceremony musicians. Work their meals into your budget and consider it part of their fee. Many vendors stipulate in the contract that the couple is to provide a meal.
another mistake that a lot of brides do is that they elope without thinking it through thinking of running away to europe to tie the knot do not forget to swing by your local city hall first make sure you check everything on the legal to-do list remember you still need an officiant and a witness to be legally married in the u.s and many countries have different residency requirements in order to be married there officially so kindly do not forget to get your marriage certificate at home before you jet off just because you're eloping doesn't mean the day isn't special it's still your wedding day and there is a reason to be excited and celebrate do not forget to indulge in the bridal aspect of your day get a special dress and a bouquet and perhaps even set up a table complete with your dream centerpiece and a bottle of champagne for dinner for two when you return home announce your elopement to your family and close friends Another mistake that a lot of brides do is that they send their thank you notes late. Let's set the record straight. You do not have a year to mail your friends thank you cards instead for gifts received for the engagement party or shower. Send a thank you within two to three weeks of the festivities. For gifts sent before the wedding, then set a card as soon as possible, but definitely. Uh, before the wedding for gifts given on the wedding day itself you can mail a thank you note within three months and for gifts received after your wedding send one within two to three weeks so guys thank you so much for watching today's video we are always excited to have you guys on the channel i hope that you guys really enjoyed the video today and if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing to the channel it's totally free you've got nothing to lose also do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your loved ones and leave me a comment in the comment section kindly let me know which gown on this particular video is your favorite and why is that gown your favorite you can also check in the description box below and you can know where to get these stunning gowns that we've shared with you guys today and guys i hope that i'll be able to see you guys on the next one